My name is Kurt Jensen, and I'm a certified technical expert at Hank Gref Chevrolet in Davidson. The video you're about to view should give you a thorough explanation of how things work. I personally viewed it myself and found it to be very informative. Enjoy! To play AM or FM radio, turn the system on. Use the power knob to adjust volume. Or use the volume adjustment paddles at the back of the steering wheel on the right side. Press the radio button on the faceplate to toggle through radio bands. When you land on your preferred radio band, there are multiple ways to find your desired station. Turn the menu knob to tune a station, or use the seek forward and back button to find a station. Or select browse on the radio screen to see a list of stations in that band. Then scroll through the list with the scroll bar on the touch screen, the menu knob, or use the fling gesture to find your station. You can also tune a station by activating voice commands and telling the system what station you want. Press the voice button on the screen to see a list of suggested voice commands. You can store stations as favorites by tuning a station, then pressing and holding an available favorite space until you hear a beep. There are 60 spaces available for favorites. To see a partial list of your favorites, press the arrow on the bottom right of the screen, then swipe the list sideward to see more. To see a full list of your favorites, swipe upward from the partial list. Or you can use the favorites paddle at the back of the steering wheel on the left side to cycle through your favorites. Select Menu on the radio screen to get options to set system functions such as tone settings, auto volume, high definition switching, and radio data signal. The menu also gives you the option to tag songs played on a high definition station. Some FM and AM stations broadcast substations in high definition. These are listed to the right of the main signal. These additional stations broadcast free of charge. Tagging records the song information on your USB device the next time it's connected. And when you sync the device with iTunes, it asks if you want to purchase the song. I hope that video presentation is you confident on how to operate your personal car technology. If you have any questions, please contact me by phone, email, or at my website, www.grafguru.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.